Shalom was the brother Kadash will start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kadash double honors to the apostle of the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and honors to all the brothers in this truth. This is second address, chapter 13, verse um 30. And he should come to the astonishment of them that dwell on earth, and one shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another, one place against another, one people against another, one ram against another. And the time should be when these things should come to pass, and the signs shall happen which I show thee before, and then shall my son be declared, Yahweh Shai, who thou saw as a man ascending. And he's going to descend the same way he um, ascended, which is Acts 1. This is the Proud Boys versus Antifa. Who got dropped? <laughs> There's a lot of people out there getting dropped, man. <laughs> You hear the guy yelling Black Lives Matter? So Black Lives Matter is out there. Antifa, the Proud Boys. Alright, so we got a time like never before. We never seen nothing like this before of this multitude, you know, happening for this long. These riots and sedition and fights and brawls this stuff been happening for some time now and the, the, like second address chapter 13 says you know these is the um the signs these is the signs that we had to ha at the end time and it says my son my son be declared who thou saw as a man ascending that's Yahweh shy this is acts chapter 1 verse 10 and while they looked stat steadfastly towards the heaven as he went up, so he, he ascended, right? He went up. Behold, two men stood by them in white appear, right? Um, which which also said, those are angels, which also said, Ye men of Gilly, why stand ye glazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven meaning the same way you seen him go up is the same way he's coming back so he was taken up into a chariot and that's the same way he's going to come back with those chariots because this is um acts one let me jump back to nine it says and when he has spoken these things why they behold he was taken up he ascended and the cloud received him out their sight so we know not just a cloud of mist and vapor received him this is talking about a vehicle it's talking about a chariot it uh it calls them clouds in the bible you know or chariots of israel if you go um to um when it's talking about elijah going up and stuff like that and um kings this is revelations chapter one uh, so these is just all signs you know sedition of one man and it's all signs leading up to this end times um 
lead, leading up to the Lord returning and stuff like that. This is Revelation chapter 1. Let me get to the point. Verse 7. Behold, he cometh with the clouds. So is he coming with vapor and smoke just with clouds? No. When he say he come with the clouds, it's talking about he's coming back with the chariots. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. I am often and omega, the beginning of any, say the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the almighty. So the same way he went up is the same way he come, he coming back down. Um. This is Revelations chapter 15, which we always pulled on these times. I think I always jump to verse 14 and get straight to the point. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw off nine. One people should stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. For there should be sedition among men for evading one another. They should not regard their kings nor their princes nor the courts of their actions should stand in their power. So one man should fight against another. You know, and it's going to get to the point where they're going to be fighting against one another with swords in their hands. So now, like right now, we see the Proud Boys, you know, we see um, we see the Proud Boys, Antifa. We see Black Lives Matter. I just, just uploaded another video uh, with them, with Black Lives Matter going over there and beating down the Proud Boys. <laughs> and you know you already got people coming on the comment board mad about it you know but those are signs that we're seeing you know when it says one man against another everybody against everybody yeah so let me find this one this is second um second thessalonians second thessalonians uh, i believe it's chapter one in uh, verse 7, because remember it says he's going to come back the same way you see him ascending. So that means he's going to descend. He went up to the chariots. He's going to descend from the chariots. Now it does say clouds, but we know that that's talking about chariots. It's not talking about, you know, vapor and mist and stuff like that. It's talking about, when it says clouds, it's talking about chariots. Because this is first, uh, second Thessalonians chapter 1, um, verse 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed, so he's going to be revealed when he's descending, when he's coming back from heaven with his mighty angels. So you're talking about angels. That's one thing. But another thing is they're mighty angels. So why do they need to be mighty for? Because they're coming back for war. They're coming back to go to war. And that's how he's going to come back. So these things that's happening on earth, all this sedition amongst man, it's really just, it's all prophecy being fulfilled which is going to lead up to the lord coming back because that's what he said will be happening um during the time of him coming back here let me see if i can find another one this is luke 12 verse 51 the red letter so it's coming straight from the lord himself suppose ye that i am come to give peace on earth i tell you nay but rather division so the Lord said he ain't coming back to bring peace on earth. The, the, the vision, just like you see right now, you got Proud Boys divided against Antifa, divided against Black Lives Matter, divided. There's a, so many more um, different groups, too, out there, you know. Uh, from henceforth, there should be five in one house divided, three against two, two against three. Father should be divided against son, son against father and mother against daughter and daughter against mother and mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her um her her mother-in-law right um and when and he said also to the people when ye see a cloud rise out the west straightway ye say there cometh a shower and so it is right so um the thing is like we see all this destruction coming we see what this is all leading up to we see all the plans and stuff so that's how we know it's it's all leading up to end end times um the same way I could get into Second Edwards thirteen, back into Second Edwards thirteen, um, the beginning of it when he, when it says he came back in the in the multitude, but I'm gonna leave it to you know you to look up yourself. Second Edwards thirteen, just start from the beginning, it tells how he's gonna come back out of the um the sea. He's gonna come back out of the skies. The same way he went up there, he's gonna come back with those chariots, and then there's gonna be a great multitude, which is the military, the you know the army and stuff like that. 
all these different armies and militaries together that's going to go and try to fight him in the skies and they're going to be destroyed, you know, stuff like that. That's where you get some of your movies, um, you know, some of your uh, movies. With, that movie always slipped the Independence Day. That's where you get, you know, Independence Day 1, Independence Day 2, the ideal of that from. It, um, it's coming from the scripture, Second Edges 13. But, you know, this is all just prophecy. It's just all prophecy of what's going to happen. Um, it can't be stopped, so it's only going to get worse and worse, and that's why these things are happening during this time, because this is the time that the Lord is about to come back, so I'm going to leave it there. Shalom, salvation to the elect.